Lummy, do you want to go for a walk? I thought you did. Let's go then. Good morning, everyone. I am out and about. Well, not. I'm just going for a walk to the end of our road, really. This little Moo Moo, where is she? You can just see her running down the road there. She's slowing me down a lot today, I've got to be honest with you. She's really slowing me down. The, the car that you can hear up ahead is Ali's. He's off for a blood test today because he's been having those problems with his skin, although he has found some products that have cleared it out. So it's definitely something that he'd used that was giving him the irritation around his eyes. And uh, he is uh, gonna go get everything tested, but he's not eaten since yesterday afternoon. So he was a bit of a grump last night. He was very, very grumpy at the fact that he couldn't eat anything. We're catching him up. I know, now he goes. I wonder if he's gonna get a McDonald's or something like that on the way home. Uh, one of my neighbors has just driven past me and me and Lumi were walking down the road and she was like, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, fine, just taking the cat for a walk. <laughs> Got coffee. <laughs> I was gonna go for a bit of a run this morning, but I um, I didn't do it and then I instantly regretted it at the point that it was too late. So I thought the least I can do is head out for a lovely sunny walk and the weather is gorgeous today. It's a little bit frosty, the sun is shining, it's a lovely temperature and I thought the last thing we want to be doing when we are self-isolating, because one of the members of our team has family or friends that could be affected quite badly by the coronavirus, so we are taking things very seriously here and are self-isolating. Um, I'm gonna be putting together a video of all of like the things that I'm gonna be doing that are productive things whilst we are self-isolating. And this is definitely one of them. This is not how this vlog was gonna start either, but hey ho. <laughs> okay, this is what this video was supposed to be, just me sitting in my dressing room talking you through some bits that I have been purchasing. I'm actually wearing one of them already because I could not wait to crack open one of these bags. It's just a chatty like haul vlog type thing and I wasn't gonna take you with me on my walk this morning, but hey ho, this is what happened. And maybe perhaps I will just vlog a little bit of today. This dress is proper like Isabel Morant vibes. I got it in white and black and I love it. I posted a video with it, like a little hack video with it, over on my TikTok. I'm gonna link my TikTok because I haven't actually spoken about it on here, I don't think. But I've been on TikTok for a while. I asked on my Instagram and nobody was on TikTok, but I still went and got it anyway, like a couple of months ago, and I've been posting on there. And the first video I ever posted got over 300k views. I mean, my first video. So I'm doing some stuff on there, but just go over there and see it anyway. These are some things I was gonna open in my last video, but I wanted it to center around clearing out and um, refreshing my wardrobe. That was that what that video was kind of all about, getting it really organized. I'm so in love with how it is in here now, and it's so like zen that I'm gonna keep it. And as you would have seen in the video, I just find the whole like storage system, how I'm using it really, really good. But I did sell a lot of stuff. Obviously, working in the career that I do, there's like this constant conflict and I, I don't like to lecture on sustainability and I try actually to like not use the word because I feel like the word infuriates people and I get it, I get it. Like I've followed people and they're like, these people need to stop doing stuff for, with animals but then they use products that are tested on animals and it's kind of like, and I get it, you're like, oh wait, you're, you're a bit of a hypocrite. So I kind of understand that and I understand that if I was to say things, it can feel hypocritical. When I talk about like buying less and buying better I am someone that has been on YouTube now for like four, almost five years. When I began, I would do like an ASOS haul almost every week. Like it was, if it wasn't ASOS, it was Topshop and I'm doing better. I am not doing better than a lot of people in the world, but I'm doing better than the person that I was four years ago. And I don't buy so much. In this video, I've got two parcels. One from a store that I barely ever shop at anymore. And obviously I've mentioned it already, ASOS. I barely shop there. I think it's coming back. I think it seriously lost its way for a while. And I used to go on there and I was like, what is this crap? And then they changed the website and the website was just awful to use. And it really wasn't enjoyable. I know, oh gosh, I feel like I have to say, I'm not speaking negatively about ASOS in that respect. I'm speaking just as a customer, from a customer experience perspective. Nothing against ASOS. 
and I know that people get annoyed at me when I defend myself, but if people didn't have a go at me, I wouldn't feel the need to defend myself. And I understand that you might find that annoying, but until the culture changes, I am gonna need to defend myself. This is conversational, this is, we're friends. Like we should be able to say, you know what, I know what you're saying, but I don't necessarily agree with it. Do you know what I mean? But I find myself logging on there a lot more now and I'm finding more pieces. I think it's still, the, the, the website is still very glitchy, but we're getting better. So I did make an order and this dress was one of them. And I've also done a net a porte order for full transparency. This is not paid for. The ASOS stuff I bought full price. net a porte I get press discount. It is very handy, um, but I, I'm paying for the items. So without further ado, let's get into the ASOS parcel. Let's talk about the item I have on first. This dress, this will look great without tights on and when it's a little bit warmer, when we're into spring, it'll look so cute with like Chloe Susanna boots and um, I just love, love, love the way this looks. It looks so much more expensive than it is. I'll show you anyway how I'm gonna style it and I'll link all of the items that I'm featuring in the description box down below as usual. So just to tell you a little bit about the items and why I like them. Um, this one can be worn with tights or without because of the long sleeves. It can be worn into autumn, winter, through spring and into summer as well. It's linen, sort of like a linen feeling material. So it should be quite cool. And um, it definitely feels really nice and light and airy. But if you wanted to wear it into the colder months, you could also pop a layer underneath as well. I do have my vest currently underneath because it's not quite bare leg weather yet, but it is getting a lot warmer. Um, so really, really, really happy with this dress and really happy with the price as well, so. Okay, this is the white version. Well, it's more of like an ivory color um, of the Isabel Morant style dress. Now, I don't have a bit of ivory elastic. I'm gonna try and see if they've got any on Amazon. Um, at the moment, I've just popped a Zimmerman belt, but I turned it around because it was just too busy with the belt there. Hence why I didn't turn around in the cutaway because I wanted to keep it simple. Now, this is the petite size, so it is shorter, so it doesn't need so much sort of ruching up, which for me works really well, actually. I like, I think I prefer this length bit more fabric on the other one but still very very happy with this and it is very cute i really love them i really love them i wouldn't wear them non -sti non stinched and non cinched in <laughs> because um of the way that my chest is so okay next up this is a slightly pricier dress but i loved 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 and you might see like another sort of similarish style dress this has like violet colored flowers on it. This is from a brand called Forever New and I loved this. Not to mention the fact that it's got this really sort of beautiful finish to the front but it's elasticated to the back so it's really going to fit. This dress is the absolute win. I love it. It fits the absolute dream. This ruching at the back is so perfect to keeping it nice and fitted. I love the sleeves as well and this really does make balloon sort of blouse sleeves like this so much more flattering. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love it, I love it, I love it. It's actually making me want to get like a lilac bag. I'm not usually someone that goes for like colored bags but lilac is doing it for me right now and I love it. So happy with this. It is a little bit more pricey but as I said, this is a great one. <laughs> Next up, so this is a jumpsuit. This is a linen jumpsuit from Forever New again. This is a white, it's kind of Zimmerman vibes. Uh, this is white linen, double lined, which is not something that you find often with linen, which is brilliant. It comes with this raffia belt, like a woven belt. I have one similar with some Zimmerman trousers that I have and a Zimmerman dress that I have. So I could swap this out. But this is just easy, easy wearing around this time of year. It's got a nice, smart, sophisticated collar, kind of like a blazer collar to make it feel more dressy. This could be like summer work wear, but also work really well for just everyday wear as well. Garden wear, home wear. I mean, you know what I'm like. I like to get dressed up when I'm at home. Wow, what an underdog this jumpsuit is. I styled it up with my Chanel vanity case or my Chanel lunchbox and with the ever famous castagna wedges. This gives me all of the Zimmerman vibes. I didn't realize how nicely 
this would fit personally because I wasn't expecting it to. It fits the dream, so comfortable. The linen is so soft. The belt cinches you in in just the most perfect place but still gives you very well put together vibes. This is something that I can wear really comfortably to work. It's just so, so comfortable. Imagine this with like a pop of color as well. It would look really, really nice. I've obviously gone for my usual color palette though, <laughs> but um, really happy with this. And this is like a fraction of the price for what Zimmerman would be. So it would be expensive for ASOS, but it's definitely a lot less expensive than a Zimmerman piece. I know that I have trousers that are very, very similar to this and um, they cost a lot more than it, that's for sure. But yeah, I will link this one down below because I really, 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 really like it. Getting dressed up and wearing my clothes and feeling great is such an important part of being at home. And if you are self-isolating or if you're in quarantine at the moment, I tell you what, one of the most amazing things that you can do is get up, get dressed, make yourself feel good and be productive. That is one thing I will tell you. Wear your nice stuff. You know those things that you wear for best? Don't keep those things for best. Wear them, enjoy them. Wear the prettiest dress that you own and just wear it around the house and feel good and take a picture, love yourself. <laughs> I'm all of the posy vibes today. I think it's because I've been for a walk. I'm just feeling great. So yeah, I'm gonna pop that on and show you that as well. Um, but really, really liked that jumpsuit. Next up, ooh! So this is a brand that I have found very intriguing. This is a brand, I don't even know if I say this right, Na Naked, is it Naked or is it nah, N-A-K-D, I don't know. I think this is a dress, this is just another white dress, um, but I thought that this would get a lot of wear. This is like a brodery anglaise kind of dress. Again, really nicely fitted. And then we have the ruffles at the end, so it's not too ruffly. Then we've got the fabric covered belt. I find these look so sophisticated with dresses when they come as like one I really really like them and then it's got puff sleeves and a collar this is very much a me vibe if you've got your castagna wedges from last year which I know that so many of you will have this is an easy way to bring them back into your wardrobe just white dresses go so beautifully with those shoes okay, this dress is actually so much nicer on than I imagined the only thing that is a little bit dodgy is the belt it doesn't really like stay Tight. It definitely loosens up quite quickly, but I think that this has all of the, the Zimmerman vibes. I didn't even realize how Zimmerman-esque this dress is, but this more fluted uh, silhouette is definitely um, leaning more to Zimmerman, which I love. Um, I've added a twilly to the, the collar, but it looks lovely without, and you don't have to do that. I was just adding a little bit of detailing. I've gone for Louis Vuitton accessories, so I've gone for my pochette Matisse and my Louis Vuitton shoes. And um, I would say that because this is Broderie Anglaise, you probably want to wear nude underneath and you could also put a slip. However, I've got nude shorts on and a nude vest and it all kind of hides everything perfectly. I love the sleeves. I love these big cuffs as well. Really gives it more of a high end feel and a more detailed finish. So I'm super happy with this dress and I will be wearing this a lot in summer. I can tell you that. Um, I also, probably gonna be wearing this with castani wedges or even cute little white plimsolls would look so nice with this. And this is a gorgeous dress, really nice quality. And honestly, I found myself checking their own website as well. They do really, really good stuff. Um, unfortunately, it goes really quickly, so I think I need to start checking it more regularly. But maybe I'll do a haul from there sometime because I actually didn't know much about it. Oh, and this is from Pretty Little Thing. If you can only shop fast fashion, the best thing that you can do is just shop items that are going to last as long as possible in your wardrobe. And I get that. So this dress for me was a very me take on that dress that went viral from Zara. It wasn't a silhouette that was right for me, that particular dress, but I felt like this was. I thought this was really cute. Although it looks like it might be a little bit big, which is a shame, but we'll try it on and see. Okay. I put this on and I did really, really like it. Unfortunately, I've already split the seams on this because the arms, obviously the measurements are off. This is the thing with when you go to the really sort of low, low end of things, this is pretty little thing. I can't actually bend my arms in it. If I show you up close from where I have bent my arms, I'm not sure if you can see, but all of the, the seams have laddered on both arms because I was trying to do up the zip at the back and I couldn't because I can't bend my arms more than that. Obviously, like, I want to be able to touch there, but it's so tight. So unfortunately, this is going to have to go back because it's not fit for wear. Would be good to do it in a, like, short sleeve. I think that would work really well, but 
as it stands. This one's not so bad. This one feels like it's got more give than, than that one, but oh well. That is everything from ASOS. Now, let's get into my support. Honestly, it has taken the will of an ox not to open this little box. Okay, so this is suit carrier bag number one. This is the first piece. I think this is the skirt that I ordered. So this is from Anine Bing. I actually have a t-shirt coming as well, but I think it arrives tomorrow. This is an A-line skirt, a black A-line skirt. It is, is it silk? Is it pure silk? Yeah, this is 100% silk. The reason why I went for this is the elastic waistband. I'm hoping this is gonna fit me. And this will be something that I wear with jumpers, t-shirts, boots, just literally anything. The versatility of these skirts is wonderful and such a great basic to have in your wardrobe. My other items arrived whilst um, I was filming. So my necklace from Dylan Lex is insane. I'm obsessed. I didn't unbox it with you because I've been filming and it just wouldn't have made sense. So I unboxed it and I'm wearing it and I love it. It's insane. Absolutely insane. And then my t-shirt, my Anine Bing uh, t-shirt arrived as well. And the skirt is obviously what I showed you from the haul, unfortunately. It's too big. I think it fits nicely everywhere else, but the waist needs a little bit of a cinch in. Uh, just a little. So I'm going to see if I can get that done because at, on the whole, this is like the perfect style. Fits really nicely, super comfortable, easy to wear. Goes really nicely with the t-shirt the and I've styled it with some golden goose batten trainers and my little Chanel clutch. This is just such an easy little outfit to wear but looks really well put together. You can put a leather jacket with it. You can wear this necklace with like anything and well, anything like simple and then this will just completely change the outfit. But I thought I'd give you a bit of a close up there because it's very, very cool. That's the first item. I'm gonna lie it down there. Second item, this is another skirt. Now I'm not sure about this one because this is a feather skirt, but I have wanted one of these for ages. This is by a brand called Sem Sem, but this with a t-shirt, I have like this really cute, the Atiko t-shirt, the white one. And I thought this with that would be really cute. This is the little feather skirt and I have styled it up with my Atiko t-shirt, which is kind of how I want to wear it. The only thing that I need is to have it taken in, because at the moment it's not holding the t-shirt in place, so it needs to be taken in about that much so that the t-shirt stays put and doesn't continuously ride up, because it fits everywhere else really nicely. It's just not narrow enough on uh, my waist, as you can see. So it's just the t-shirt, it's just moving about, and bunching up, but I can easily just have some darts put in at the sides or at the front or something. I did it with my Fendi skirt, just so that it's a little bit more fitted for me. Sorry, I'm always looking in the mirror over there because I can't see what I'm talking about because I'm too small. Um, but I've styled it out with some Christian Louboutin heels which desperately need some TLC. But actually, I really like this skirt and I think that it, it's not really like anything I've got in my wardrobe. I love the color as well, although I have you realize how many shades of nude there are when you like nude like this is like a peachy nude and this is like a pinky nude and like a mauvey nude do i need a new nude bag potentially it was quite expensive for a skirt not something i would usually spend and i didn't know it had gold in it which is nice i'm feeling like a lot of accessories i have will go with this but also i feel like this again this isn't like a this isn't a style that will date. This has been around for a very, very long time. Okay, in here, what do we have? Oh, okay, this is from Equipment. So this, I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this one, to be honest. It looked a little bit too oversized for me, and I shouldn't be buying black when it's spring, summer, but this looked so sh sh chic. <laughs> this is like a blazer dress, but cinched in at the waist and with these kind of statement balloon sleeves. You'll definitely get a better feel for this when I have it on. But I just really liked the look of it. It may be a bit long for me. We're gonna see, we're gonna see how it looks on. This is the equipment dress and we've gone from one extreme to the other. This belt is way too big, which is really unfortunate. It really does limit the people that can wear certain things when your belt is this un flexible with people's sizes to really put more on equipment. Um, I could potentially swap it out for another belt that I have myself. Do I love it enough? I feel like I do love it. I feel like I do really like it. Let me know in the comments if you think this is nice. I think I'll get the wear out of this. If not this season, I will next season. It's very, it's very me. It's black, um, but it's also just quite like structured feel with attitude. Does that make sense? I feel so cringe when I say that, but I do think it's got a me vibe. 
I like it. Okay, I think I might keep this, but we'll try it with a different belt. It just needs to be like, like that and a bit more cinched in. Oh wow, I actually ordered quite a lot. <laughs> this is so not a me thing to buy. Oh my goodness, but I don't know why this color just just spoke to me. This is from Mara Hoffman. It is this sort of, it, it's kind of khaki. It definitely looks more khaki on camera, but it's its not as khaki in person. It, I can't explain what this is like. It's like a moss green. I just loved that this was like linen and a bit more of a utility jacket dress. I think this is gonna be super cute on. The moment I saw it, I was like, I don't know why I feel the need to have this in my wardrobe because hello, this is not a color other than like my khaki coat that I have, which I bought a hundred years ago. I love this, the, the fact that you can like cinch it in even more as well. So it's got versatility to make sure that it fits you right. I just, I need to see this on to know if I'm gonna love it. Oh my goodness. This is my Simone Rocha coat in a dress. It's got attitude. It's got like puppy sleeves. It's just the dream. I cannot express to you how in love with this dress I am. I can't stop eyeing myself up. I am so obsessed. This is such an underdog. I was like, I feel like I like this, but it might work. It might not. This dress is goals. I am obsessed, utterly obsessed. Okay, I've styled it up with some Jimmy Choo boots and my uh, trendy, but this, I'm putting this on my Instagram now. You're gonna have seen this already because the obsession is real. I cannot deal with this dress. And I think it's inconspicuous as well, so I think there's gonna be quite a few sizes left. Probably not by this point, because I would've put it on my stories, so sorry about that, but, oh, the dream. So that is the Mara Hoffman one. And then this dress, I, this is a great basic. Loved this. Um, hopefully it fits, although I'm not sure if it will. This is from a brand called Honorine, and this is a little black linen dress with little frills around the top. I've got a similar one that I got from Nasty Gal that was cream, but that didn't have frills. I, I loved that and I wore it so much in the summer. This is pretty much almost identical, but without the, fr the frills and is black. I styled this one up, but very loosely because, <laughs> pardon the pun, it's a bit big. This is just too big for me. This just isn't doing me anything, is it? It looks like I've got like my big sister's dress on or something. <laughs> no, I think I'll be sending this one back, but oh well. I don't think I'd get that much wear out of it anyway, so it's fine. And then this, this dress, I can't believe this is the last one in here. I thought this was gonna be first. This is, oh, this is the wrong size, <laughs> first and foremost. This is a size eight and I wanted the size down. This is the lilac Ula Johnson dress of dreams. I saw this on there and I was so devastated that I missed out on the smaller size. I'm hoping it's gonna fit me because this color, oh, I love Ula Johnson so much. And I love the fact that it's got this sort of V-neck but you can also button it up. I'm doing it no justice. It also comes in a maxi dress. This is the lilac dress of dreams despite it being a size too big it's actually fitting fine so it's not a size too big but it's just i would have gone for a smaller size i definitely think that um it must come up quite small i'm not sure but it just it fits lovely it really does fit lovely i am in love with the sleeves i'm in love with the color i was actually going to style it up differently to this but i put it on with the boots and loved it so this is despite it being very expensive ah Staying. So I popped it again with my Jimmy Choo boots and my little Chanel crossbody pearl bag, and I'm very happy with this. I feel very pretty. This is just gonna get so much wear this summer. And then finally, this little one. So I need to replace my earring. Finally, it stopped hurting. Basically, if I, if I spray it with um, antiseptic every day, same with this one, they kind of, they're, they're more bearable. So I'm, I'm making a point of doing that. But the barbell in this one is so long. And when I saw this, by the way, I don't get discount on jewelry. When I saw this, I, oh my God. Oh my God, my friend's just had her baby. Oh my God. <laughs> oh no way. Oh my God, I've got goosebumps. Oh my gosh, she was born two hours ago, seven pounds. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, I'm so happy for her. Oh, I can't wait to meet her. <laughs> oh, now the other one just needs to have her baby. Jesus Christ, come on. Yeah, so anyway, back to what I was saying. I saw that they had the matching stud to my garland, so I thought it would bring that into this ear a little bit because I have all of my Astrid and Mew hoops in. And these are my diamond collection ones. And then I've got some of the huggies as well. But I wanted to bring 
this one in so when I saw this I thought this was probably the right one and obviously I had, had a bit of a nightmare with my other one when I ordered the lightning bolt and also I don't really know what I was thinking with the lightning bolt because it's not really my style so I got myself a little flower can you see that there we go you can see my nails that need doing that little rose gold diamond Maria Tash flower I am gonna pop in the top of my ear right now because I cannot wait to change it but yeah that's everything okay I got the new one in without a Without a hitch, it's in, looking a little bit red because it always does, um, but it's in, it's in, it's in, and it fits so much better, so I'm not going to catch that as much, which is really Definitely good. Definitely three time tea time. We're eating the remainder of the, was it Connie the Caterpillar? Yeah, so. it was. It definitely was Connie the Caterpillar. Um, we're now working downstairs. Go team, George. Go team. We both got cups of tea. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Playing a game, George. Hold on, wait. I'm going to put you up here. So... George and I are still in the office. What's the time? It's 20 past six. You know how I told you that I don't, we don't work late in this office? Oh, I clearly lied. So we're sat here and George has asked me who the most famous people that I've met are. Um, and I named Olivia Palermo. What did you say, George? Who's that? Right, so I said, because uh, I can't actually think. Because we do get to meet some really cool people. And then I said, Lara Stone. And you said... I don't know who that is. <laughs> and then I said... Olivier Rooster, and you said, Who's that? Who's that? So you Googled him. Yeah. And then you said, Ah, oh, he's a fashion designer. And I said, Yeah, for Balmain. And I said, Do you know what that is? And you said, Nope. <laughs> I have no idea. I like this game. Hold on. Who else can I say that I've met? I feel like I need to go through my Instagram to know who I've met. This is hilarious. <laughs> this is what we're doing to pass the time because this video will not process we're still at zero zero percent zero percent you've got to know if you don't know this one then i don't know <laughs> pressure's on <laughs> i've sat across from um irina shake you don't know who irina shake is no google her you're gonna i'm gonna enlighten your world george irina shake irina shake who is it oh a russian model oh did she know bradley cooper yes no yes, way. welcome to 2020, George. Welcome. Where did you meet her? I didn't meet her. I was sat across from her at the Intermiss Me show. She's oh. my arch nemesis. We joke about it at Intermiss Me because um, she steals my look a lot of the time. Oh, right. Okay. So we, we definitely say that she's... Um... Does she follow you on Instagram? No, no. I mean, she should. Irina, if you're watching. Also, one thing that George has said is that um, he will let me have control of his Tinder uh, account and I get to like pick the girls that he dates and I get to talk to them <laughs> on there and like set it up Yeah Do let me know in the comments if you think that we should um If Lydia should control my Tinder Yeah, maybe we should film it Imagine if I found you like your girlfriend for like the rest of your life oh, By the way, George is single before anyone asks me Yeah Cause he's, <laughs> I love George, it's like yeah Yeah <laughs> Yeah Any of you ladies out there <laughs> Hit me up, slide into the DMs <laughs> Looking for a wifey. <laughs> I, need, I need somebody to spend my time in quarantine with. I as know, well. yeah, yeah. So. But at the moment, you've just got Lumi, so yeah. that's good enough. Lumi will be very jealous. Who have you met that's famous? Well, I know who they are. I haven't really met any celebrities. Yes, you have. Oh, sorry. You, you and Ali. <laughs> I met Lumi. Lumi is the is the MVP. Yeah. She is. Uh, yeah. She is the queen. Yeah. Who have I met? I've met Andy C. He's I'm sorry, oh, is that a DJ? Yeah. <laughs> You're with the Lydia. Yeah. We uh, my uncle met him in Dubai, so I've been to a couple of backstage concerts with him. And when we were there we met like Pendulum and a few people like that, but Pendulum, I know who that is. Yeah. <laughs> Down with the kids. Okay, what about the biggest YouTuber that you've met? The biggest YouTuber I've met. I feel like with YouTube though, it's like it's like subjective. Like I don't necessarily look at someone's numbers and think that they're the biggest. But for me, like US people are like another level. I would say, for me, do you know what? It's not even about like the numbers. Meeting Desi Perkins and her being like as just chill and cool as she is. You're Googling her, aren't you? <laughs> She's hot as well. Yeah, she is pretty. She's 33. She's too old for me. Oh, see, I spoke at Desi. Might uh, yeah, of course you did. Because you're lisp. Oh, George, this is killing oh, me. We're still at 0%. Oh, 
There we go, hot boss. <laughs> I'm always still vlogging. What are you doing? I pressed the wrong light switch. <laughs> There's so many light switches. So many. It is literally nine o'clock and George is just going, no, I'm joking, it's seven oh. o'clock. Bye George, go home, you're so annoying. Why don't you go away? I'm going. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning. I've been looking at my my face for the last like five minutes. I'm like, what is wrong with my face? Why is it looking weird? It's because I've not put my brows on. And you probably didn't notice that because I always find that people say to me like they don't look any different. But to me, I'm like, so anyway, <laughs> um, I'm gonna put my brows on and just kind of bring you up to speed. So my computer died. Luckily, that's happened so many times with my iMacs that we now have a system in place that like George can just be like, guys, I got you, don't worry. There will be no disruption to this video going up. But um, I was literally like, I'm at my wits end with this because I can't, I can't keep doing this. Plus we run, I don't know if you know this, but we run on mobile internet from our house. We have 500 megabytes to use a month. It costs us a lot of money. And if we go through that, another 100 megabytes is like 50 quid. Redownloading everything on our computers is really expensive. Luckily, Zoe London messaged me last night and um, helped me out. Her and her husband helped me out. And I think it sounds like they know what the problem is. I wanted to say that also I haven't, um, I don't feel like I've really acknowledged what has been going on in my videos. That's because I've like totally acknowledged it everywhere else. And I think that everyone's just a little bit sick of hearing everyone saying the same things. Like I'm just gonna keep my content going as normal because I think we've like established that now. There are always gonna be those people that are like, you need to speak about this subject. And then there are also gonna be the people that are, which are the majority. They're gonna be those people that are just like, I don't want to hear about it anymore. I just want to get on and I want some distraction. I want the light and airiness of YouTube content as it always is. So I saw people saying that like it's an insensitive to upload and like other creators saying this and then like their audience are like, we want you to carry on. So for me, it's just important. I'm well versed in this. When people describe your everyday life as quarantine. Um, <laughs> for me, this is, this is like, a lot easier than it is for everyone else and I acknowledge that and so I'm doing my best to just create content I've done podcasts I'm blogging every day I'm put, still putting out my two videos and I'm posting daily on Instagram as well so I'm really trying to up my content just so that you guys have got stuff to to kind of do the podcast is out now so if you want to go and listen to that there's also a whole load of new blog posts basically what I'm doing is I'm posting daily outfits from my dressing room. Some of them will be like expressions of my style and others will be actually what I'm wearing that day. I'm also gonna be shopping my own wardrobe. I'm gonna be doing all of that kind of stuff. And uh, I'm really loving it. I'm really, really loving it. And it also seems like you guys are really enjoying it as well. Like the comments on my like blog. A few weeks ago, I was like, mm, should I like remove the, the comment counter on my blog? And then I was like, no. For me, that's such a good indicator of like blog posts you've enjoyed. I just wanted to say that there's loads of stuff. I'm gonna link all of my content and things like that in the description box uh, down below. So you can go and read all of like, I'm doing like a diary entry every day with an outfit. So hopefully that's something that you enjoy. And because I'm really enjoying doing it and almost want to like carry on, but I know that that won't be possible. So if you're wanting like little daily updates of of what's happening. Carrie's being uh, brought home as we speak, but um, she will be uh, self-isolating for two weeks um, following her trip. I have my new PA starting on Monday, which I'm so excited about, slash nervous because Carrie's supposed to be here and she's not gonna be here. Oh, Ali and I have been like self-isolating for over two weeks now, so we're fine. Hopefully you're enjoying the content as much as I'm enjoying doing it. And I will hopefully see you in my next vlog. Let me know in the comments. That's one thing I wanted to ask you. Let me know in the comments. What did you feel won in this video? Like, was it the high street haul from ASOS or was it the luxury haul from net -Porte? Which did you feel had the strongest pieces and looked the best? Um, <laughs> but um, I'll be posting more outfits and styling all of those pieces up differently over on my Instagram. It's so weird that like my audience is almost like mirroring. So like my Instagram, I have 150K now. I hit 100, 150K, 850K. So I've got 150K to go until I'm on a million. This has been such a, a slog, like a long slog. 
Um, but I'm so glad that I've done it this way and oh, it just feels so within reach. Um, but I've also got 130K almost, I think, on here. But imagine if I hit a million on both platforms in 2020, like imagine. And I know that right now, so much more going on in the world, but as a small business myself, I'm celebrating those small wins. But I wanted to say, if you're not following me on Instagram, I know that um, there's a lot of content and stuff going out. And I just know that a lot of people always say, I wish you daily vlogged. I am now like doing daily stories and like chatting with you guys. So if you are wanting a little bit more of me, maybe, I mean, I know there's a lot. Head over there, head over to um, at Lydia E. No, that's not even my handle anymore. It's at Lydia Millen and just come there my like my DMs are open so we can chat and we can talk and you can kind of see what I'm getting up to on a daily basis as well rather than just like in vlogs uh, but thank you so much anyway for watching and I will see you in my next vlog <laughs>